Hello everyone. Welcome to Educative Newsroom, where we watch educative staffs and even give out educative informations. Things that improve ourselves and people around us. Kindly subscribe whilst we proceed. We are coming to take you through the GSOF statement that has been going around. Yes, GSOF has a platform where you can check your statements on your phone. You can check your pension, your lump sum pension on your phone or even online. Now, when you check your statement, you are going to have a lump sum amount of money that will be sent to you. However, the source, when they send you, when they send you the statement, they will give you a breakdown. They will give you a breakdown. Now, the breakdown, people are having challenges with it. So, we've gotten some of the messages from people to help them explain it. And we think it's necessary to give the same information out to people who might be struggling to understand it. Now, when you look at this statement, it says, please find below your GSOF summary membership statement as at June 30th, 2023. Total contribution, TPFA, and regular into bracket 15,858.98. Valuation gains, TPFA and regular, 8,993. 0 0.02 total fund value tpfa and regular equals to 24,852 find detail find detail statement visits this for a detailed statement visit gspension.com helpline that so now how do you explain these numbers what it simply means is that your total contribution, your total pension contribution from 2010 up to now is 15,858. That is your actual contribution. Now, they have been investing this money for you over the years. Though some delay in disbursement to the GSOPs. So the money that they've been investing for you, the gain on it will be the valuation gains. So the interest or the profit they make on your money is... The valuation gains in this case 8,983. Total fund value. So, what it means is that when they add the contribution and the interest, which is the gains, this is the total amount they are getting 24,852. In detailed explanation, what it means is that if you are to go on pension today, yes, if you are to go to pension today. This is the amount of money you'll be getting. You'll be getting 24,852. Now, what is the implication? How can you use these numbers to determine what your pension will look like? Visit us back for the next episode. We will take you through how to um, forecast your pension using your current the sub statements yes you'll be able to tell how much you'll be going home with when the time comes so in all anyway kindly subscribe like and comment but in all this is all that the statement is talking about you have your actual contribution the gains you have made on it and the total money you will get if you are to go on pension today Remember, this is for uh, contributions from 2010 up to today. Pension contribution before 2010 are with SNIT. Are with SNIT. And when you go on pension, if you are a type that you have contributed before to SNIT before 2010, those monies are with SNIT. Yes, those monies are with SNIT. And SNIT will have to pay you those contributions with the interest which is called the pass credit so this is all that the statement is talking about thank you for watching and have a nice day